All right, just wanted to end it off with some good news here. We've learned that Robert Wickens is awake and alert upon being taken to the hospital. I shared with my wife a second ago that um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the scary, scary part of this is over, but um, it is good to hear that he was awake and alert leaving the track. Uh, just goes to show, um, man, IndyCar has had some some dark days recently, and, and they're not too far away in terms of our memories when things like this happen. Um, in particular, the Dan Weldon and the Justin Wilson incidents um, not too long ago within this decade are, are things that IndyCar fans, I think, flash back to when we go into that period of time between the accident happening and learning that Wickens is, is actually awake and alert. And um, obviously we continue to keep him in our prayers to hope that the, uh, any injuries sustained are minimal and, you know, he's able to race again soon. So I um, want to kind of close out that quick coverage I randomly had of it. Again, I'm not usually an IndyCar watcher. I was planning on sitting down and recording some Ducks videos here. And um, I had the Pocono race on as kind of background noise. And I walked past the TV and saw that on lap eight, it was... Um, a bad accident had happened and kind of everything unfolded from there. So glad to hear he's okay. Um, hoping for the best and, you know, I hope everybody out there that's a racing fan is, is sharing the same positive feeling I am that uh, another driver is, is going to be able to hopefully continue their racing career. See ya.